Welcome to the Consumption Report. The Consumption Report allows you to plot consumption from electricity, gas, water, heat and even virtual meters, and compare this with consumption over multiple locations, time periods or utilities. As with all reports, the Consumption Report is made up of a summary panel and the main report view. The summary panel within the Consumption Report is expandable. On the left is a button to show or hide the summary panel content. The title bar displays the report criteria of chosen report, chosen location, selected date and the chosen utility. To the right, there is the option to download the tabular data from your report. The left of the summary panel will show figures for the total, maximum, minimum and average usage for your chosen utility. It also shows the unit of measurement and a key for the main report view. On the right of the summary panel, you will also see a drilled down report for a selected day. Once that is selected in the main view, this we will see in a moment. The next panel contains the main report visualization. This is scrollable if needed, depending on your screen size. At the top of this section is a strip which contains report specific options. On the left is breadcrumb date navigations. To the right, there is the display divisions drop down menu. The Time Range button and Date Range navigation arrows are on the right. The Consumption Report itself displays three axes as default. These are Consumption Units on the left axis, the Date Range along the bottom of the report, and Temperature is measured in degrees Celsius on the right axis. The highest consumption point is highlighted by the red arrow. When the report has been created, each bar on the report in the main view is clickable. When you select a bar, this shows a drilled down view of the report in the summary panel, enabling you to see that specific period in more detail. The drilled down report in the summary panel is also then clickable. When you click on this mini report, it is promoted to the main report view. You can drill down as far as half hourly data to customize the data that is being shown in your consumption report, click Customize in the contextual menu in the bottom toolbar. To bring up more options and the full customize panel, click on the pen tool in the top right of this panel. As well as being able to change the location and date range, you can also select the utility you want to view data for, select the unit of measurement, Turn on or off main meters. Display or hide outside air temperature overlay line. This is based on local weather stations. Display or hide target overlay line. This is the target figure as set in my accounts. See tutorial for further information. Display or hide baseline overlay line. This is the baseline year as set in my accounts. Once you have made the changes you require, Click the check mark button to close the panel and refresh the report. Changes will be visible only on the main view graph. Your new customizations will also be added to the data displayed within the hovered tooltip within the main view. To compare the data that is being shown in your consumption report, click Compare in the contextual menu. The Compare tool allows you to compare up to three datasets on one consumption report. You can choose to compare to another location. This will redirect you to the location picker. To previous period, when selected, this will automatically generate a comparison report. A new date range. This will activate the comparison date picker. To custom data, this will activate the customize pop-up where you can create your custom data set. Here, we will compare to another location. Use the Location Selection tool to select a location and when you click the Submit button, a new comparison within your report will be generated. When a second set of data has been added to the consumption report, the view in the Summary panel and the main report view changes. 
three panels that hold the criteria and a drilled down graph will appear within the summary panel. The first panel will be entitled Dataset 1 and the second Dataset 2. There will also be a panel which, when clicked on, allows you to add a third dataset. As an example, we will click this panel and use the comparison menu to compare to the previous period. This now adds another layer to the graph and fills this third panel when selected. This will automatically generate a comparison report. To the left, within these dataset panels, you will see the selected location, the selected date range, the selected utility, and the unit that is being measured. The right-hand side will hold a drilled-down graph for the relevant dataset. To display these graphs, click on a bar within the main report graph. When a second or third dataset is active, this will be represented on the report in the main report view. A second or third dataset will be added to the existing report. These will be represented by contrasting colors. The relevant consumption bar and OAT line colors will be represented in a key within the summary panel next to the title of each relevant dataset. OAT will only work if you added the local weather station during setup.